what is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Making our way for Habor. We also have a side quest up and waiting for us, but let's head on over. Cloak and Dagger, our next quest. I'm gonna try and actually pull off that use all three abilities trophy this episode as well, if we can find something big enough that I can pop. Uh, I kind of want to go that way, but I also want to wait until I have a quest that's telling me to go that way. Maybe not. Let me grab a chocobo. It might just be like one big area Come that I just on. like pop into when it's marked explored. So let's go. Let's just look real fast. Just, just real fast. Might be like where the oh is. Maybe, okay, that's weird. I mean, I can't. There's a thing down below. I can't go there. It must, it circles in and this is a lower area. I can explore at a later time, I guess. Well. Come on, gang, let's get out of here. Still. Still 11 levels below that damn dragon. I want to go fight that thing, but it's like I need I need experience. It stands right now, the same exact thing that happened the first time. We'll we just can use again. the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. much confirmed now that I'm not going to be able to do it in that order. Gouge is going to knock away, so I got to finish with Gouge. What is in combat? Something below. I ain't here for y'all. I'll fight these dudes over here, though. Did I even get down there? No, I can't. Come here, friend. For real? You just walk back and avoid my shit? Or end you? of those before landing. I think the, uh, hmm. Let me, um, I want to pull this off. I'm going to kick them up. That's going to knock them away. That's also going to knock them away. I think here's what we got to do. I think I need to... Wicked wheel. I need to kick them up. I need to gouge. And then after that, I need to Wicked Will, Rook's Gambit, Ifrit Chase after them, hit Couch. And if that doesn't work, then honestly, I just need a, a big ass Tell enemy. Maybe a dragon or She's something. Strong will, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Awaken! 
Oh, that would have worked if that thing didn't instantly fall in the sky. I'm gonna pull this off. So that just passes through. I'm assuming these just connect right here. It's a lower path. Oh, that, so that's it. Southern Velcroy Desert connects and does the lower portions of this. of time before they won't stand the chance we can't let those monsters reach the Take care of this. Rest well, soldier. No need to ask for forgiveness, Makupa. He's dead. I killed him. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. I mean, judging from the giant cloud of blue 50 meters in front of us, I'd say it is. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Good. I got here in time. Alright, hold up. That that was the that was the combo. I did it. Why didn't I get where is that? How did I not just get that? Land gouge, wicked wheel. Do I need to do it in that particular order, maybe? I'm not getting that. You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? 
One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. I was there, in Kostnitz, when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith, when you killed my commander! My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, Come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> some... Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Frankie. Anyway, while he was uh, bitching about his own inability to beat me, I looked it up. I think the problem is I am starting with Wicked Wheel from the ground. I need to do a little hop and then do my Wicked Wheel, and that should uh, that should lead the lead into the combo that I want. So let me see if I can find another. There's nothing over here. Oh, damn! I want to get this combo done. There's got to be something up ahead. You. Not resilient enough, not big enough. Can I try that again? I'm gonna do it here. How about let's see? So we jump. And then I think I, I think I hit him up, air hopped, hit him up. I wonder, could I do an infinite air juggle with that? We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Here, take a look at my wares. Come again.
My Lord Marquis, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist's flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Quiet. How dare you! Distinguished members of the Council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king he has come to save us from the Akashic. is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs>
enough. Just killed everyone at once. Damn, <laughs> Odin's sort of crazy. Pathetic creatures. you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. Oh, they're there for permit. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. I feel like that dude's gonna be my next boss fight, the dude in white. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. It's cool how Odin is essentially the... You know, the final uh, icon. That we're going to be battling with, you know, because usually Bahamut is like near the the top of the food chain, and Odin is. I mean, I shouldn't say a gimmick, but I, I do feel like for for a lot of the games, Odin is so then, painted as gimmicky. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long, indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Was this gonna be like the, the thing in the ruins that I couldn't really see the whole thing of? It is. Phoenix Gate, Drake's Breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yose.
Let's find our friends. I'm guessing when it's like he has the power, he... Well, because that, that looks more angelic, almost like a, a seraphim or something. So does Ultima become that? It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. Who among you is bold enough? Is that blade for hire? Put... Well, yes, a passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade. That an elder Dread Evis had been sighted. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Comp oh, do you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though, Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well -aged. Bring me that beast's skin. All right. All you had to say was hunt. You don't need to I hunt big beast. Hunt big beast. That's all I had to hear, man. You don't need to don't need to elaborate you don't need to explain it why was a simple man go up here I don't know why go up here careful how you pack that leather any crystal hey, you finally no one was paying me the slightest heed is something wrong at the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet, here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted. Uh, three of them, to be precise. Uh, I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. This dude needs to hire goots to just throw him on his back and carry him around. Either way, we got a couple of what seem to be fairly basic side quests. One is here. The hunt one is over there. And it's still not letting me connect. My guess is... After I go through there, that'll then allow me to connect back to the fields. Because, I mean, this is still considered inaccessible. Well, maybe I do have to warp over there then. Go real fast. Mainly because I, I want to get my damn thing. My, um... I want to get my combo done. And if this beast is as big Let's go. and angry as they are, uh... Inferring it is, I might be able to fight this beast and get that, that achievement real fast before we wrap up this episode. And who knows, maybe I get a level. And then maybe with that level I go fight a dragon. I don't know, I mean, I think I could take the dragon. I think I just got, I was caught in the moment. Got one shot. I think also I just need a little bit of a... I need a few, few attempts to get down its patterns and then some good Bahamut dodging, maybe some Garuda airplay. I think I should be fine to do it. No holding back.
Dread Avis. I think Avises are the the like wyvern bird hybrid type things. They kind of look like um, orc tails from The Witcher. Or Yen Garuda, Garuda from uh, Monster Hunter. Yeah, you look like more like just like a straight up dragon. Old maybe. But it looks like there's still plenty of fight in him yet. could have pulled it off right there. I was about to pull it off right there. <laughs> Damn, that 45k though. That that lightning into Titan, I'm like, the fuck? What is what is happening here? This thing reeks. The sooner it's off my hands the better. I didn't even use gouge. So is that just thunderstorm and wind up just pumping out insane amounts of damage right there? Like I've never hit damage that high, and I'm sitting here like, oh, what, what? Like, what? <laughs> it's just a, what? What happened? Like, could it be a pop out of wind up? I mean, wind up and thunderstorm, I think, are both uh, pure damage oriented abilities. Yeah, I mean, you more so, but both of those. Maybe I go both of those, and then I follow it up into uh, the blast, and that pops 50, even though I'm only at like level 30. Because that was. I mean, I hadn't been thinking about this that much, and then I saw the, the 50k, and I was just like, wait, excuse me? Um, I don't want to go fast. Actually, no, let's do this. I was thinking about that, uh, that big cat. Maybe I can use that big cat. Let's go. Faster. Want to get my no holding back? Too slow. No. Ah, I fucked it up. like the whole combo there, but it didn't work again. Ah! 
There we go. Got it. Damn. All right. Uh, on that note, back to table we go. Wrapping things up here. Got that. Got that challenge. Gonna um. Gonna respec a little bit. Change some stuff around. But y'all stay tuned. We'll have more coming your way soon.